head of Xbox Phil Spencer recently appeared on Kinda Funny Xcast to discuss the launch of Redfall. The Xbox Series X console exclusive is receiving poor reviews, averaging a 60 on open critic with big sites like IGN and GameSpot both giving it a 4 out of 10. Spencer specifically apologized to fans for letting them down with the game. Here's what he had to say. You know, there's, there's nothing that's more difficult for me than disappointing the Xbox community. Um, I've been a part of it for a long time. I obviously work on Xbox, head of the business, have a lot of friends, get a lot of feedback. Um, and just to kind of watch the community lose confidence, be disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I'm upset with myself. Uh, I, I kind of make it, revisit our process. You know, I think back to the announcement of 60 frames per second, and then we weren't shipping 60 frames per second. That was kind of our punch in the chin, rightfully, uh, a couple weeks ago. And then seeing the game come out and the critical response was not what we wanted. Um, and it's, it's, it's disappointing. Uh, Spencer also spoke about his desire to allow Xbox's internal studios to have creative freedom, saying that he would not restrict studios to developing just one kind of game. But one thing I won't do is push against creative aspirations of our teams. Then a lot of people will say, hey, you've got teams. Teams know how to do one kind of game. Just force them to go do the one kind of game that they have a proven track record for. Um, and I'm just not a believer in that. Maybe that means I'll, I'll under deliver for some of our fans out there. But when a team like Rare wants to do Sea of Thieves, when a team like obsidian wants to do grounded when tango wants to go do hi-fi when everybody probably thought they were doing evil the within three um i want to give the teams the creative platform to go and push their ability push their aspirations um, but i also need to have a, a great selection of games that are continue to come that surprise and delight our fans and we under delivered on that and for that i apologize it's um, not, not what I expect, not what I want. Well, I, I think those are, and I'm happy to go very deep on this. I think if I think about a team's execution on a game, there's, we had a creative vision and did we realize that vision through the game that we created? That's not a delay question. If the answer is no, like you can't take something that that you started on. This isn't a Redfall specific conversation, right. but we will build games that review in the high eighties and we will review, we will build games that review in the sixties. I mean, it's just kind of part of being in game publishing. And if, if you're afraid of that, then you shouldn't be in the entertainment business. You shouldn't be in the games business. That said, every time we deliver something below our own internal expectations that surprises us, um, we should check our process. I don't look at the review scores on Redfall and I don't, I, there, there are quality issues and we're working on those. Um, but I think there's a, a fundamental piece of feedback that we get that the game isn't realizing the creative vision that it had for its players. That doesn't feel like a, Hey, just delay it. That feels like the game had a goal to do one thing. And when players are actually playing, they're not feeling that thing. They're not feeling the, the creative execution of the team. Um, when a game needs to be delayed, what we did with Halo, we did with Starfield, we did with Redfall, because the production timeline is saying we have this vision and our production timelines don't get us to the completion of that vision, uh, we're, we do delay games, we do that. Spencer adds that he still has confidence in Arcane Austin despite the rough launch. I'm a huge supporter of Arcane Austin. Their track record is awesome. I love a lot of the great games that they've built. This is one where the team didn't hit their own internal goals when it launched. I think it's maybe a little simplistic to just say, hey, if you would have just delayed it three months, the core creative of the game would have delivered on something that was different than what it was. Um, so I look at them at different camps. If there's a production timeline issue, we've been open to delaying. If we just have more bugs than we should have at the end of a game, we're, we, we're open to delaying. Um, at some point, we have to have a creative vision and put the game out and creator, uh, reviewers and players will tell us what they think. Redfall is available now on PC, Xbox Series X, 
and Xbox Game Pass. You can watch the full Kinda Funny X-Cast episode on YouTube. We've included a link in the description below. Visit GameFreaks365.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more gaming news and content.